Welcome. A water-cooled RTX 4090 can be mounted vertically in an inverted Li and Li O11 Dynamic Evo. In this episode, we are water-cooling an MD 5800X3D and an NVIDIA PMY reference RTX 4090 on the AM4 platform. We will build a custom loop using components from Optimus, AlphaCool, EKWB, HeKiller, and Li and Li. We will end with a leak test and temperature results from a stress test. This is the Vector Network, and let's begin. The Optimus Foundation CPU water block for the AMD AM4 socket platform will cool the CPU. We are using the Asus ROG Strix B550A for the motherboard. Let's drop in the Ryzen 7 5800X 3D and apply thermal paste from Noctua. This version of the CPU block features an acrylic top and a satin silver bracket. Place it on top and fasten the thumb screws in a crisscross pattern to evenly apply the nickel plated cold plate. We have 32 gigabytes of G-Skill EDR4 3600 RAM and an M.2 NVMe SSD. We are using EK Quantum Torque Compression 14 mm rigid tubing fittings in satin titanium. The case is an O11D Evo. He killers rad 360L in white with three Fantex T30s. The Optimus Absolute is an 8.5 inch D5 pump reservoir combo unit and is mounted directly to the radiator. Adding two torque rotary 90 degree fittings. Slide it into place in the Li and Li O11D Evo. Then we can add the fittings to the heat killer rad. We are using additional extender and offset rotary fittings to help align the bar tubing for the custom loop. Another heat killer rad 360L in white with three Li and Li Uni SL Infinity fans in white will be used. And this is the bottom radiator and will be the lowest point in the loop. We will add a drain port right here for convenience. Let's drop it in the case. Add an additional torque rotary 90 degree fitting. We are vertically mounting a reference RTX 4090 with an alpha cool ace block water block. Click on the link in the top right for a dedicated video for this card. The tubing is installed by fully inserting it into the base fitting and then the other side is pushed into place. The locking ring is then hand tightened. This is repeated for each of the 10 compression fittings for the five main tubes. We are using the ready to use Corsair Hydro X Series XL8 performance coolant in clear. For the leak test, the reservoir is filled with coolant and the power supply is turned on with only the pump connected and a jumper on the main 24 pin power cable. The pump is turned off once it pushes most of the water out of the reservoir. More coolant is then added and the process is repeated until the reservoir stays completely full. With the pump connected only to power, it will run at 100% max speed, which can be helpful to clear out the air bubbles. This custom loop is using acrylic 14 millimeter outer diameter hard tubing. The EK Quantum Torque compression fittings have a dual O-ring design. One O-ring is in the base fitting and the other is attached along with the locking ring. It is possible to see and or feel movement of the tube going into the base fitting as it passes the O-ring. Given that, it is possible for leaks to occur from improper tube lengths and or bends. To alleviate the possibility of a leak, additional extension, offset, and 90 degree rotary fittings can be used to ensure runs are generally simple and for the slightly added flexibility and mobility. In addition, adding five millimeters of length onto the cuts can account for shavings and allow for some sandy down for fit. Lastly, pre-bent 90 degree hard tubing can be used to sidestep the heating portion of the build. Next, once the system is verified to be leak free, a stress test is performed to further evaluate the custom loop. 3D Mark's Time Spy Extreme was run in a window with hardware monitor overlaid over it. After the 20th test pass, GPU temperature was approximately 36 degrees Celsius and the hotspot was hovering around the low 40 degrees Celsius range. The fans were running at between 750 and just below 1200 RPM. Because the bottom radiator fans are visible, the Li and Li Uni SL Infinity fans in white were selected for a blend of their performance and design. In the end, the components are cool and the system is quiet. Like the video by clicking the like button. If this is your first time here, 
go ahead and subscribe to the channel. This is the Vector Network. Please click on the bell for a notification when the next episode airs. Click on the links here for more videos, including one dedicated to the studio that produces this content. Thank you, and I'll see you at the next episode.